Hey there, dreamers. Welcome back. Today's episode is going to be all about Disney's PB and J Otter. Let's get started. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Royce. I'm a painter, sculptor, and a collector. Today's episode is very near and dear to my heart because we are going to be diving into my collection from my childhood of one of my all-time favorite Playhouse Disney shows. PB&J Otter ran from, I believe, 1998 until 2001. Of course, reruns ran, I believe, up until 2006, and it was just such an amazing show. It focused all on PB&J Otter, who are three otters that live in this magical world, this cute little town of Lake Hoo-Ha. Lake Hoo-Ha. Lake Hoo-Ha? Hoo-Ha, yes, that's it. And it was just such an amazing show. It featured so many characters from raccoons to ducks to some snooty poodles. It was just such a cute show. And I cannot wait to show you this collection. All right, let's start off with these three dolls. They are so special because they were never released by Disney. They are prototypes that were to be released at the Disney store. And you can even see here a Disney store description jelly and these were um, prototyped on May 15th, 1999. So these were going on 23 years old and they are in very good condition. You will see marks that were used by the production artists as you'll see here on Jelly, for instance, they wanted her eyes to be a little bit bigger. They wanted her hair to come down closer to her eyebrows and just things like that are just so fun to see in the production of puppets and even plush. These actually remind me very much of the puppets that were used in the Playhouse Disney float that used to go down in Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. You would also see Fairy in the Big Blue House and Stanley and they are just such amazing puppets. They are completely articulate and they can sit as you can see. Next let's look at Peanut. Peanut too doesn't have any markings but you could just see that they were testing where they were going to put the eyebrows because on one side of his eye there is no eyebrow and then of course he is completely articulate as well he can sit he can wave i love his shoes and his little socks and i love the color that they use for this plush and it's such a nice soft material and he's a 17 inch plush jelly is 19 and then last but not least baby butter he's a 14 inch plush he's probably the cutest out of all of them i mean look at his little shoes he has this iconic little bottle and he actually has some production markings as well on his face. You can see the smile. They wanted to change the grin and his little diaper. He is just such a fun figure. And I just absolutely adore these. I will always keep these in my collection. I love prototype pieces. All right, up next, we have these three beautiful plush. These were released at Blockbuster and I can still remember the day I bought them. We were in line kind of by the candies and I saw Peanut and Baby Butter and I screamed to my mom, look, 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 they, they have the plush. Oh my God, where's Jelly? And I remember the lady went to the back and she actually brought out two jellies. I had no idea why. And I actually still have her right here with her tags and I used the one that I usually played with here. These are the typical bean bag that was released in the late 90s and early 2000s, extremely popular. And they're just so adorable kind of the smaller version of these here we have peanut peanut i think is the most drastic in the color change from this look how much darker peanut is in the larger plus than this one speaking of merchandise that wasn't released that i wish they would have truly was figurines if you were a 90s kid or even early 2000s figurines were the they never released figurines for this particular show. However, I ended up just making them and I was so excited to have them as part of this collection. Hand painted them and they're just so cute. I use them on display and I want to actually create the entire cast from this show. Up next, we have this really, really fun puppet collection. I actually had this one. This is my original one and this is one that I rebought because I wanted the box. I'm that person. So this is like a little finger puppet set and this is the house. Look how cute it is. It has like a little stand and as you'll see in the box it has little backgrounds. They don't make toys like this anymore. This is their house by the way and it's a little boat. They live in like a 
fishing community on boats, everybody. And it's really cute because all of the families have a different house. So for instance, their friend Flick, who's a duck, lives in a duck. And Munchie, who's a beaver, lives in a house made of sticks. And the Snooties, I think their house is the most unique because their house is kind of like a giant birthday cake. And then if you look here, you'll see more smaller puppets. This is absolutely perfect for the younger ones. And the back of the box is the beautiful logo from the series. This was made by our friends at Applause. And I just am so excited to finally hear that PB and J Otter is being released on Disney Plus. I, I literally cried, no shame. I loved this series as a kid, and it is about time it's being released. Also, Bear in the Big Blue House is being released on Disney Plus, so if you've never watched either of these shows, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. It is right up there with Arthur and Clifford and the Wild Thornberries. Last but not least, this is very random, but it's something that I've always just kept and really liked. This came in a VHS from another show on Playhouse Disney called Rolly Polioli, and it was a parent's program guide with activities, and it had the logo from Playhouse Disney, and I was just obsessed with this logo, and I still am. I think it is just perfect. I love the rocket. I love how playful it is. And also, for those of you that don't know, Playhouse Disney was a program that was for kids that was on Disney Channel that ran from the morning. I think it started like at six and it ran I think until 12 or two, and then it switched over to Disney Channel. Eventually, Disney Channel was like, you know what, Playhouse Disney needs its own channel altogether, and it turned into Disney Junior. I think it's still on cable, and they had all these shows on there. So let's take a look at this program guide. Another really, really fun show is Stanley. Stanley was about this little boy who had a pet goldfish, and he loved animals. He, he had this giant book. It was actually called The Great Big Book of Everything with Everything Inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. And it was just so fun. And I loved that show too. Up next, you also see here, Bear in the Big Blue House coming to Disney Plus. Next to it is Out of the Box, which is already on Disney Plus. If you've never seen that and you love arts and crafts, that's the show for you. Rolly Polioli, also already on Disney Plus. So cute. I think that it was kind of like the first of its kind in terms of it was completely a 3D series. And let me tell you, it was so good. That's why it has so many seasons and so many movies. The Book of Pooh was truly a special one. I loved the Book of Pooh. It was Winnie the Pooh in puppetry form. And I think it was made in like a Japanese style, but it was so good. I loved the Book of Pooh. If you've never seen that, check it out too. It is on Disney Plus. In the back, you will see Baby Butter, Peep and J Otter finally being added. And at the very bottom, you will see the Wiggles. And I don't think they need an introduction. They, they were probably like the Jonas Brothers of Playhouse Disney. They were so popular. I loved their songs as well. I remember the uh, hot potato and the mashed banana song and, and the big red car another amazing show you know i just think that we were so truly blessed to grow up in the time that we did because the shows that we grew up on they're just different from today and i'm not bashing today's creators i'm just saying that there is such a difference in content and humor and morals and animation and character design than there is today. It's just different and I love the era that we grew up in. A lot of puppetry actually I've noticed we grew up in if you were a millennial. So if you're gonna watch this show, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, sit down with a beautiful tall glass of chocolate milk and enjoy it. You're not gonna be disappointed. All right, everyone, that's all the time we have for today's episode. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I wish you all a wonderful day. Be nice to one another. And always remember, not only to follow your dreams, but to chase them. Later, dreamers.